So I'm going to select all of these 3D polygons and then I come up here to the landmark menu and go to create site model, site model from source data, and then this launches the dialog box. So let's start at the top under the general pane. So our maximum elevation and minimum elevation, that's coming from our highest topo line to our lowest topo line right there. And then this box right here, extend minimum and maximum when needed. As you start adding site modifiers to your site model, if you don't select this box, you're going to get a dialog box that pops up asking you if it's okay to extend the minimum and maximum. Just go ahead and select this and then you won't have to look at that dialog box because the answer is always yes. So go ahead and select that. And then down here under contour settings, we have a minor contour interval and a major contour multiplier. If we look over here under the preview section, these light green lines, those are our minor contour intervals, and the darker green lines with the number, those are our major contour multipliers. And so I think on a site model, it can be helpful to see things at one foot intervals. And then for the major contour multiplier, let's go ahead and leave that at 10 feet. Now, arguably the most important setting in this dialog box is right here, use site modifiers on. And what I recommend is, what I recommend is while you're a beginner, go ahead and set that to all layers. That way, if you accidentally have a site modifier or a landscape area that's on a layer where it shouldn't be, it's still going to show up when you update that site model. So go ahead and just select all layers. Next, let's look at the 2D display. For 2D display, uh, and 2D display and 3D display are different in that for a 2D display, you can display both the proposed and the existing at the same time. And so the existing is always going to show up as green topo lines, but then when you add modifiers that have adjusted the grade, those topo lines for proposed are going to show up as a blue line. So we'll go ahead and we'll look at that um, as both proposed and existing. For the style, I'm going to go ahead and leave that set as 2D contours smooth. Next up, we have the option of whether or not to draw a site border. So I leave that up to you as a matter of personal preference. And then here we can show the contour labels. Right now it's set only to show the numbers for the major contours, but you can also show them for the minor contours as well. I'm going to go ahead and leave that set for major contours. And then down here at the bottom you have show flow arrows, and this can be helpful for understanding the grading and drainage on a site. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that deselected. Next up under the 3D display, and remember the 3D display is different. You can only show the existing or the proposed at any given moment. So you want this set as proposed, otherwise the site modifiers that you add are not going to show up when you update your site model. And then for style, we're going to leave that as 3D mesh. You have the option of whether or not to show a skirt on your model. You can also add the contour lines to your model. And then right here for mesh smoothing, notice in the 3D preview when I deselect that, I get a real faceted look over here on my site model. The mesh smoothing, it just smooths all of those little tin points out and it looks a lot nicer. So go ahead and select that. And then a 60 degree crease angle looks pretty good. So we'll leave that set like that and then go ahead and click OK. And now we have a site model. Let's come up here to the layer and let's change this to the site model layer. So now the site model has its own layer. Let's turn off the PDF. And then I'm also gonna turn off the elevation as well so that we're just looking at the site model. And so here is what our 3D site model looks like. Let's take a quick look at the object info palette for our site model over here. If I click on this site model settings button right here, this just launches that dialog box that we've been using to set up our site model. So if you need to make changes after the fact, you can always do that here. Then we have the update button for once you've added site modifiers to your site model. And these should look familiar. You can change your 2D display, 3D style, 3D display, and 3D style at any moment over here in the object info palette. 
And then if you scroll down here to the bottom, this button can be useful. It's the recreate from source data. And you're gonna get this warning. It's basically telling you if you've edited any contours or you've done any surface sculpting, that it's gonna delete those. Make sure that you haven't done any contour editing or surface sculpting before moving forward. So that's okay for us since we haven't done any of that work. And then this just brings you back to your original topo lines. So we can select a topo line, grab the reshape tool, and I can go ahead and just reposition one of those if I discover that there's an error. Then go ahead and exit and that site model will be updated. Next up, we're gonna take a look at how we can control some of the graphic properties for our site model.